Oh, hello, hello. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome to uh, all of this. <laughs> to my first Halloween stream. Uh, I've attempted a costume. Uh, I was going to do something else and then I was like, nah, I need to theme it, you know, with the theme of what I'm going to do today. Uh, so I tried. Uh, and the first person to guess which of the Sanderson sisters I'm supposed to be wins. Uh, I don't know what they win. They win a, a poisoned apple or something, maybe. Uh, but yeah, um, I love Halloween. That is no surprise to, uh, <laughs> to most people. I love dressing up. Any opportunity to dress up, I will take. And, uh, and yeah, Halloween is great. Halloween is the best thing. Um, I'm a goth at heart. I love walking around at night in empty cemeteries. That's kind of my vibe. So yeah, of course I was going to do Halloween streams. What did you think? <laughs> Thanks, Dipstick. All right. So today, what do we have in store? I had this idea a couple of days ago. Uh, I, so. Every year for Halloween, I've got a bit of a tradition with my friends. We get together uh, and we watch Halloween-y movies. So it could be, you know, like old school kids movies. Uh, it could be horror movies, anything that is kind of works well with the vibe of Halloween. And, uh, and this year or a couple, like a week or two ago, we decided to watch Hocus Pocus 2 because it came out recently and it's on Disney Plus um, and I think everyone uh, of my generation at least is fond of the, uh, the the original Hocus Pocus movies so we decided that um, you know we'll, we'll try to watch the new one see what it's all about and I was watching it I really uh, I, I don't know if it was the best movie I'm not gonna go into detail about like what I thought about the movie but um, I was kind of looking at the original movie and it occurred to me that the Sanderson sisters have this cottage that is uh, deep in the woods and hidden and I've always wanted to try a build that's a little bit spooky and haunted in Valheim, a build that is, you know, like a witch's hut. I've already made a witch's hut, but something a bit more dark and, um, you know, more Halloween-y. And so I try, I, I decided, you know what, I might try to build it in creative mode, just see how it goes. Um, I have pictures for reference. I, I dug a little bit to find different pictures. I'm going to focus on the exterior to start with and then maybe try some um, interior design of that uh, cottage that's the, in the movie in Hocus Pocus, the Sanderson sisters, the three witches. Uh, live in and they do all their magic in there and all of that um, but I yeah so I, I've got to try to make that in Valheim we'll see how it goes um, I only have a couple of hours so <laughs> I don't know how far I'm gonna get uh, but we'll we'll see and Dipstick saying your wife just watch Hocus Pocus 2 movie I caught bits here and there I shouldn't have an opinion since I didn't watch it but yeah, I think it, it was all right. It was all right. It wasn't the best movie. It wasn't. I mean, the the first movie, the original, you know, we all love it because it's a bit of a, a bit of a meme, a bit of a, you know, nostalgia thing. But in itself, it's not the best movie. Let's, let's say it. But I like the, the, you know, the idea behind it. The three Sanderson sisters, the three witches are quite fun. So, you know, why not? And uh, Jaws asking, <laughs> the pointy hat, where is it? Not even, not even the earrings. Yeah, no, I couldn't wear the earrings because I'm wearing um, headphones and or headset, earphones, whatever. Uh, I do have a pointy hat, but I, I, I tried. Okay, so no one's tried to guess yet which of the Sanderson sisters. There's three. There's Winifred, who's the ring, uh, the ringmaster, ring caller, whatever. She's a boss. There's Mary, who's a bit, a bit dumb dumb. And there's Sarah, who's even more dumb dumb, but you know, is very cute and everything. Uh, so, <laughs> thanks, Bambi. Number two, which one is number two, dipstick? Mary. That I thought I thought that people would say that. I I tried with the makeup with the lipstick, and then I was like, oh no, that doesn't work. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> We'll see if, if anyone gets it. I feel like Bambi would get it. 
Uh, but yeah, I, I tried the hair. It didn't quite work. So maybe the pointy hat will come later. Uh, Jules, we'll see. One of three, pick the middle, betting on. <laughs> I, I kind of feel like I have to show the pictures of the Sanderson sisters now. How do I do that? Let me check. Uh, Sanderson sisters, let's Google it. Nope. Uh, let's find a good picture that I could show. Ah, there you go. Let's see. Open image, a new tab. All right, I'll put it on the screen. Oh, now I have to change that. Mm. Okay, bear with me while I try to put this on. Da, da, da. Uh, there we go. All right, let's see. Is this working? There we go. All right. Those are the three Sanderson sisters for those who are <laughs> who are unfamiliar with them. The not dum dum. <laughs> thanks, Yolax. I should be the dum dum one, but thanks for saying is uh, uh, not the not the dum dum one. Um, well, I attempted one of them. I don't have the right hair color, but I tried the makeup. I do have the teeth for it. <laughs> so yeah, let's see. Do you guess? <laughs> oh, this is silly. At least I've got the kind of clothes colors right. So anyway, just a bit of fun. I thought like, uh, I like dressing up and let's see, let's see. I need to get my screen set up for gaming bet what do you say it keeps bet there's no bet oh is that the name the name in um in the netherlands bambi it's uh i think mm, they have different names never mind never mind okay so i think i will oh is my game crushed that would be a good start oh no it's not is there let's see do we have the game sound all right so let's get started with uh with our sanderson house uh i will probably need help and guidance and i've got a friend here uh i will probably need some ideas as well i found a spot that i like i'm on a uh i'm on a solo private server and i'm using dev commands and stuff because ain't nobody got time for gathering materials right now um but i found this spot that i quite like in, in the middle of the forest it's got a natural naturally spawned gray dwarf uh, thingy bob and i tried to spawn proof it didn't work so i'll have to think about that later but i was thinking i quite like this light and i wouldn't mind trying to do something around it either have it inside the house or have it as part of the house so that you can see the see the light so uh let me get actually a picture of the house that i'm trying to make as reference should have prepared that but who's who is organized like that clearly not me all right let's get the reference pick. Let's see. Yeah, why does it not want to open? Open image. There you go. Honey buff runner. 
Yeah, exactly, Dipstick. Ain't nobody got time for survival builds. <laughs> Definitely not me when I haven't played it in weeks. Okay. Oh, this image is not great quality, but it will have to do. Let me see if I can get it up on screen so I can easily toggle. Nope. There we go. I also quite like the sound of this Grey Dwarf farm. All right, so this is a cottage that I'm trying to make. Uh, I quite... Oh, this is a really poor image. Hold on, let me try to find a better one. But you get the vibe. It's got... It's in the middle of the forest. It's got spooky vibes and it's got, like, uh, a, a little wheel, a wheel or mill here. It's got the... Uh, purple fumes coming out of the chimney which I'm not sure how I'm gonna make <laughs> we'll, we'll figure something out um, and uh, and yeah I quite like this cottage it looks very medieval-y so we will try to make that let me try to get a better picture because this one is really bad nope this one's too small yeah, there's, uh, it was quite hard to find reference pictures for this because there's not that many in-game. Um, not in-game, I mean in uh, out there. There's... Uh, you, you see like a brief shot in the movie and then most of the shots you see are from inside the cottage, not outside. So, yeah, we only have like a few pictures to go by. Well, this is the main picture, really. Um, and I'm going to try to find a better... Better looking one, just so we can get a feel for all the different elements and, and try to build that. Um, I'll be using a couple of mods, not a huge amount. Um, I don't want to go too mod heavy, but there's a, a couple of mods that I will be using, like uh, Gizmo and the, uh, what you gonna call it, the, uh, that's a better picture, isn't it? Um, I'm going to be using the Colorful Signs mod and just the usual ones that I, I use. Um, all items, all items, all stands, whatever. I All stands, all items? I think I got... <laughs> I, quite, I never remember how to say it. But that mod. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to try to not spawn anything in. Not abuse my, uh, uh, my, my god mode. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll see how how we get on. I do like the idea of the vines on the side. I kind of want to have vines, but again, we'll see if I stick to my uh, no spawning stuff in rule. We shall see. So let's get started. And Ark is saying, elevate the spawner with a hoe and build a chimney around it. I have tried that. I have tried that. I will show you what it looks like because I've tried it just a little bit further away on a another Great Wolf spawn. Uh, spawn. Sp uh, for, uh, yep, Great Wolf spawner. And this is what happens. Your <laughs> it it doesn't actually elevate it, which is a real shame and it's a pain. So I did have that idea. I was like, oh, if I elevate it enough, maybe I can, you know, that can be the chimney. Um, but I can't do that. And I've tried the opposite as well of digging underneath. Um, it doesn't destroy it, but it also doesn't uh, lower it. Basically, the spawners just stay hanging in the same spot they've spawned in. So it doesn't matter what terrain uh, modification you do around it. It's not going to move it. Which is a bit of a shame, because um, yeah, I was like, oh, I'm going to... I chose that spot because of the spawner, but I can't really use it. So, so yeah, that is a bit of a shame. But back to our other spots, what I was thinking um, was maybe to, instead of using it as the chimney, because we won't be able to elevate it enough and I don't want to dig all around it. Uh, the other thing that's a, a bit annoying with this as well is... Uh, the roots around it stay there too. So even if I elevated it to have the chimney kind of around that spot, I would still have the weird roots all around. 
and that wouldn't look good because the roots would be that just then floating in the sky so what i was thinking was maybe as an alternative because i don't want to destroy it i like that spot but it's also right in the middle of where i want to build the house um i we uh, i was thinking maybe i could elevate the ground by maybe two meters so that half of the spawn is under the ground and have the other half up and then use that as kind of the center of the cottage so some of our, my reference pictures the at the center of the cottage it's like a big square and open space and then there's a mezzanine um and the center of the cottage uh on the ground floor there's the that's where they cook their potions and so on so they've got a cauldron there so i was thinking maybe if i elevate it enough the ground i could have that under the cauldron like a magical fire and then have the cauldron over so i would need to elevate the all the, the floor all around um so i might try that i might try that what uh, what do you think or should i should i not touch this and leave it as is either way i need to do something about uh spawn proofing it because the gray dwarfs are gonna get in the way mm. and <laughs> yeah if you're uh, not here jules if you're <laughs> If you're watching, you might, I might actually call on your help. To, <laughs> I never know how to use plan build. I know there's a lot of options and terrain modification and stuff that I can use with um, plan builds, but I, <laughs> so funny, you just, you just typed that in chat, but I know you've got like a 10 second delay. <laughs> so you read my mind. If only one would use plan build for it. I would like to uh teach me <laughs> because i don't know how to so yeah please i saw this if is this part of is this part of it is this part of plan build i'm clicking nothing happens help <laughs> um but yeah what's uh, what's everyone saying what should i do should i elevate the ground hmm Hmm, people have not decided. I'm going to make an executive decision and I'm going to start raising the ground and we'll see what happens. Oh, I need to first destroy all this. Because it's anyway not working. Nope, nope, what? N not elevate the ground? Too late. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Ah. Would be on the rune. Yeah, you need to teach me how to use plant build. <laughs> I know there's some tutorials out there, but I am a lazy bugger, so. Okay. So that would be. Do I need to go one higher? Hmm. Don't want the seeds to be visible so maybe i need to go maybe one higher to have that poking and then elevate the rest of the terrain if there's a magic command where i can elevate all the terrain in a radius uh let me know how to do this <laughs> hey Cherylicious, welcome because otherwise i'm going to do it manually and it's going to be painful to watch and painful to do uh. I hate terrain modification. <laughs> oh, this is... Uh, what was it? Level ground? If I do that, will it work? Maybe I need to be on the ground to start with. Nope. I really like the sound of it. The sound effect. Hmm. Right, if someone knows the magic command to uh, increase terrain in a radius by a certain amount, let me know now before I waste tons of time doing it manually. <laughs> I know there's a way. I know there is a way. I, uh, hey, Brian. Yes, I am using Inf... Uh, am I using Infinity Hammer? I think so. I should be. 
Hey Perrin. Welcome, welcome. Uh which one am I supposed to be using? Hmm. Yeah, basically I need to elevate everything, make a platform and then try to blend it back into the uh, to the rest of it so it doesn't look too ugly. And this is pretty good. It's sticking out of the floor but not too much. Uh, I'm gonna try to level all of this to make it uh, to see how what we can do with it. Terrain level circle X to raise lower radius X to your level. Ah. I shall go and try that somewhere else. Let's try that and let's go to that other spot. My testing spot. Uh, yes, yeah, right. Uh, Jaws. I have plan build installed. There is a terrain tool with a visual marker. Levels terrain instantly to where you point the marker. Is that this one? Is it? Is it this thing? I think it's this thing, but... I, oh, okay, I, I can see it's doing something now. No, no, it's not doing anything. Yeah, so I have this, but I'm not sure what to do with it, to be honest. It, yeah, if you know, let me know. And in the meantime, I'm gonna test out the thing that Brian said, so terrain level circle, so I need to type that in the... Craft the blueprint rune. Okay, I'll try that. So this is a learning experience for all of us, but mostly me. Circle... Let's start with five meters. Oh, magic. Fabulous. Look at that. Aha. That's going to make our life easier. Thank you, Brian. All right, let's go back to our spot and prepare our terrain. Where is... There we go. And another question for you, chat. If anyone knows how to spawn-proof a Grey Dwarf farm, because I've tried putting, I thought before you could put, if you put flooring underneath it, it would uh, stop things from spawning, but it clearly hasn't worked. So please let me know if you know of another way. And if it's a way that requires placing stuff on it, uh, I guess it's too late because I've now <laughs> modified the terrain around it. This is gonna go so well. Okay, so let me try that again, and this time I'm gonna go straight with a 10. Ooh, ooh, something weird happened here. So the platform is okay, but what happened here? I'm gonna have to clean that up. Nope. Roof over top, supposed to turn it off. Oh, good to know, thank you, Cherry. Okay, let's uh, clean this up. Flatten this whole thing, make it buildable, and then that's going to be the center of our house. And then I'm going to have to clean up the edges here. Oh, there is another tool um, I know that is in one of the terrain modification things. If anyone knows, that would be great. Where you can make. Um, you can basically make an incline. So for example, if I didn't want to have this ugly uh, cliff over here, there's apparently a tool, it might be the world ed edit one, um, where I can supposedly make it so that it's like smoothens the, uh, the incline. But again, I'm not sure what that tool is and how to use it, so. If you know, let me know. Mm, how 
how big do I want my house to be? I might need to do another... Another... Say a bit more. Ooh. Oh. Shoot. Did I... Oh, damn. Things are being destroyed. Oh, no. Wait. What is going on? What the heck happened here? I don't know what happened here, but it's magic. The whole forest is huge. Wait, what did I type? <gasps> I typed 114 instead of 14. Oops. Well, that took care of that problem. I don't need to smoothen anything because now it looks that I, I think uh, the whole, yeah, the whole forest and potentially the whole island is now elevated. Great. Perfect. Let's uh, pretend nothing happened here and uh, yep. <laughs> well, that was a quick fix. Oh no, what did I do? Ah, oh, there's no undo button. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I did a Gwen. I did uh Canaris. Hey, hi. I did a Gwen, but you know what? For once, it was a good one. So I ain't complaining. You can do undo. Well, too late. Hey, Roots. Shift click ho helps make incline decline path that's what you mean ah <laughs> Cherylish is saying that uh <laughs> that uh Canaris is the like the answer and the google for Valheim he knows everything that is very true now I'm in safe hands okay confession this stream is not because I wanted to build this. This stream is, uh, I'm streaming because I don't know how to do most of those things and I need people to help. <laughs> uh, but yeah, job done pretty much, Brian. Okay, cool. So we've got our terrain pretty much flattened. Let me just uh, flatten a bit further where we are going to build our house. Next thing I'm guessing is building the foundations. Uh, and... Let's see, let's see what view do I want. I want, oh, it's not flat here. What's going on? <laughs> Square dwarfs are a little bit in the way. Okay, so this is the perfect view if I had to compare with my reference image. It's, there's no mountain or anything in the back. There's just forest around and then less trees behind. So that's the view that we're going to take. And we're going to have the house maybe angled in um, in a similar way. So let's see. We need foundations. I like to use core wood as foundation. Someone taught me this. And since then, that's how I do things. So how do we, how big do we want it? Oh, and... Um, so we want this to be kind of at the center and then we want the house to be, whoops, uh, to be kind of there. So it looks, looking at the reference image, there's one first block. Let me show you guys. There's one first block of house and then there's like a, a rectangle, like there's a square at the front and a rectangle at the back. So, and an elevation on the second floor. You need to throw in some ads before you actually post helpful comments. Oh yeah, <laughs> Canaris. <laughs> yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, just people saying hi. Good, very polite chat, thank you. Um, all right, all right, all right. Oh, before I do that, I did want to try something just because this whole thing, this whole faff was just so I could do. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, yes. This is great. Oh, it's not centered. Hold on. But look. 
<laughs> this is fantastic. This is exactly what I wanted. Hey, don't break it. No, go away. No, leave it. No, they're gonna break it. I do need to get rid of him, don't I? I need to do something about that spawner. It's gonna be a problem otherwise. Oh no, they stopped attacking it. Okay. I suppose as long as I don't put a workbench, they won't get excited. So I'll just leave them. But yeah, I'm excited about this. This is cool. This is cool. The sound effects and everything. It's, uh, oh no, they're attacking it again. Oh, no, 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 go away. Uh, I'm probably going to have to spawn proof this before there's more issues. Uh, what should I do? Let me just uh, put a quick roof around this. Let's see if that roof theory works. I put a roof on top of it. Will that work? Ugh. Is that going to stop it from spawning more mobs? Okay, that seems to be working somewhat. So there's no no more respawning. Okay, I'm gonna leave this. It's looking a bit weird, but never mind. And uh, Cherry has discovered with this mod that I can recolor all flames. So good, but it's making you lag. Ah, yeah, I know. I wish we had more colors with the. With the torches, I'm sure we'll have some new colors with the new Mistlands update. You can see a forest heart, you can... a nice purple fire. Are you talking about this? The Great Dwarf Spawner, Canaris? And Canaris, I tried to put the floor down. Uh, it didn't work when I had it down before so yeah <laughs> an arc deleting the spawner by accident in three two no i didn't it's still here it's well protected i don't think anything can destroy it now uh so we'll keep it that way and go back to our house foundation so we have we wanted this angle we want the house to be kind of there actually this is probably the wrong way to do it uh, I want to first kind of, if I want this to be the center of the, of my house, uh, I should probably kind of go outwards from there. So maybe do have this kind of square from the front of the house, uh, cause I don't want it too big and then uh, da, 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 da. and then there's the back of the house I'm gonna have to chop down some trees so that's the front bit and let me just put the picture back up so you guys can see so I've just done the front bit with the door and then we've got the back bit which is the big rectangle if you see what I mean uh, right and how much of the infinita, uh, infinity hammer I'm using? Uh, good question. I've no idea. I don't know that I know how to use it very well. So what is going on here? How? How are these not aligned? I'm using just core wood beams. Do they join up? Oh, they do. Oh, it's just a weird perspective thing then. Huh, interesting. Well, this is not very necessary, however. However, I do want to have the other bit of the cottage sticking out and it looks like it might be bigger on one side than the other. So I think the outline goes something like this, maybe? Mm, probably two. Yeah, I know. I'm 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 using cheat commands and stuff, but also I don't know how to use most of those tools, so not that much of it. 
actually 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 that house is getting too big i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna do only yeah i prefer that and then it's kind of sticking out a bit but not too much on this side i think um forest heart which is just a heart engulfing flames without any of the nested part oh okay yeah but equally i don't want to spawn in stuff so because i you know not that anyone would want to recreate this but if anyone wanted to try some of these things i want them to be able to do that in vanilla game Okay, so how is this looking? Um, I'm, if I look at the reference pick, let me switch. The reference pick, it looks like one side is sticking out more than the other. Like the left side, there's a porch or is that a porch? I'm not sure, but the, the, the rectangle bit at the back sticks out more on the left side than the right side. And on the right side, there's the, the mill. So I think I need to shorten the right side and have the left side longer. Just kind of weird. I don't understand how this building works. I might need to go and look at some other reference pictures I have. One of them being a Lego set. <laughs> the Hocus Pocus house Lego set. Okay, I'm going to put that on screen as well so you can see what what I'm what I'm working with here. It's really not much if you type the you know sanderson house um hocus pocus house cottage whatever you actually don't get that many results so yeah it's uh hold on. i'm gonna put all my sources on the screen so i can flip between them and show you what we're working with because it's uh yeah it's gonna be tricky it's gonna be tricky all right so let me show you this is the hocus pocus house we have a couple more images of the front of the door and so on that's going to be handy i love the lantern here i have no idea how we can make it uh there's a little fence outside and so on uh yeah i think that's all is there more ah yeah there you go the cauldron the big cauldron in the middle of the house and then let's see if there's more what is going on with that page hold on hello why do i have to scroll so much what is wrong with this page are things just not loading ah there we go okay so we've got some pictures of the inside of the the house as well so it's got the so that's doorway it's got the cauldron in the middle and then there's like a fireplace on the side a mezzanine stairs going up etc etc but the outside of the house is weird it's not symmetrical it doesn't appear symmetrical on one side it's uh it, it doesn't poke out too much and on the other it does so let's see how this lego set is made ha okay so this is useful because <laughs> i can see dimensions better here so we're gonna have to make it oh it's flush on this side on the right side where the water mill is it seems to be flush um on the ground floor and then it's just the second floor bit that is uh that's poking out so that's interesting and then and then that side is poking out quite a lot so okay and then that's how they did it inside there's a first floor and then like a back room okay this is kind of weird this is a weird weird building very strange but i'm glad we've got this uh, <laughs> lego set because otherwise i wouldn't know how to build it so what is chat talking about Bambi, graves, you need graves. I, yes, I do. 
Warned Hard Graves. <laughs> Canvas. I need a structural tweak mod for resizing everything. Anything and everything. Well, Jules, you're listening. <laughs> okay. So back to our house. Back to our foundations. I've got... Whoops. There you go. I've got my reference pick. I'm going to use that. Um, okay, so this... There's none of that going on. This is just on the top floor. So I'm going to close that off. Oops. And then... On this side it needs to poke out way more. Which means I'm going to have to... Bring out the get big guns. No. Mm. There we go. Where is it? There we go. There we go. I need to get rid of some trees. Too many, too many, too many trees. Oi. Oh no, I have to destroy the log. I'm sure there's an easier way to suppress trees, but you know what? It's kind of fun to chop trees down, so whatever. Oh no, it's going to be one of those things. Oh no, why does this always happen with the stupid stumps? Well, this stump is staying here. <laughs> yeah, we're making fun of me. I need a mod crash course. You think? You don't say. I I'm doing things uh, the the tough way, but also not the tough way because I I'm using creative mode. <laughs> Click with hammer to. Well, I it doesn't work for me. I'm not like it's not doing anything with the hammer. Unless I'm using the wrong hammer, but I'm clicking on the tree and I'm nothing, nothing's happening. Oh, Jules, sorry. It's because, it's because there's an, an R, there's two R's and an E in your YouTube name and it's confusing the heck out of me. Just change your name on YouTube to, <laughs> to Jules, please. Quinn also needs a modo crash course. <laughs> I probably do. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, cool. What was I doing? I need this house bit to stick out. How much does it need to stick out? Maybe one more. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. How does it look like now? How are the dimensions looking? Not too bad, that's a decent sized house. I think. Or maybe it's a bit on the small side. Let's see. Let's compare it with our Lego reference. Mm. Well, once I put the door in, it should look okay. And the chimney and everything, and the top floor is going to be bigger, so then the build is going to look bigger. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. What do you guys think? Let's see. Uh, let's put a door in, just to get a sense for the dimensions. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Could be bigger, but I don't like building big. <laughs> Legos is the best reference for Valheim, I know. <laughs> if only there was a mod to plan out builds. Look, Jules, I've only used the copy-paste bit of your mod. I don't know what the planning bit... I, I have never seen it in action or used it. So... Teach me. And and then and then it will be less painful to watch <laughs> for everyone. 
delete the fun that was in the book. Okay. Uh, cool, cool, cool. So, next thing, I guess I need to place some flooring. Um, or actually, doo -doo -doo, it looks like there's stairs going up to the door, which means, ah, shoot. That means that the floor needs to be elevated somewhat, which is going to be a bit of a problem with my little Great Wolf Spawner plan here. Okay, let's try something. Let's try something. Let's try something. It's nothing better than <laughs> not planning your build. <laughs> oh dear. Let's try something. I have not been paying attention to the POI server. And I've never used any of the mods. No, because I'm not a builder. I never said I would. I was one. Uh, very clearly, I'm not one. Um, and also, I don't really have much time to play the game, unfortunately, or learn all the tricks. So, yeah, this is what you get. Saws. Okay, this is too high. I don't like this. Because then it's hiding my whole great wolf thingy. So I need to go kind of in between. Uh, okay, so maybe something like... Can I place it like on top of it? <laughs> Who's offline? Yere. Yere is probably sleeping right now because it's uh, quite late. Wait, oh, fart. Wrong. Wrong one. Because uh, it is, uh, I think he's two hours ahead of us. Where Jules is uh, just one hour ahead and also a, a night owl. So is uh, around on stream more. This should be okay. Oh, let's get rid of all that. How does this look? It's still poking out. Okay, it's still poking out. We're still good. We're still good. We're still good. We're still good. I'm just going to place all the floor for now and then see. Do the rest after. Hey, Darth Ludite. <laughs> We're going to make it a thing. We're going to... The Gwendolorians. It's going to become a thing. Keep, keep saying it and uh, slowly people will adopt it. Will accept their fate. Okay, this is not too bad. This is not too bad. Uh, crisis aborted. So what I will then do is, just for reference, have my little stairs here. Whoop. The stairs leading up to the door and the doorway will be here. I'm doing this in a really chaotic way, but what did you expect? from me, huh? What did you think? That I had stuff planned out? That I was a good builder? Ha! Huh. Joke's on you. Joke is on you. Okay, I think I need to add... Uh, the forest... Uh... Yeah, yeah, Cherry, I agree. And I don't build very much. I don't have many opportunities to learn, but I do sometimes. So, okay, so this is going to be tricky. How am I going to place this one underneath there? Oh, it's not going to want to clip. <laughs> Cataras. Gwen says she's not a builder. But I've seen the builds. As long as there aren't glowing mushrooms, they're really cool. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, we'll remember the glowing mushroom incident. Okay, so this is not gonna... Oh! I had it, I had it. Come on, come on. Are you gonna clip underneath or is it gonna be a pain? I think I'm just gonna probably just go with that. Um, let's see, let's see. What do I have as my... In my reference... So, 
in the reference images, we do have a nice Tudor style uh, front to the house, which I do want to recreate somehow. So we're going to have to figure out how we do that. Also, I need to probably add some... Ooh, it's so small. Come on. Come on. Oh. Did that work? Can't see shit. Can't see shit. Nope, that did not work. What was that? Never mind. Yeah, that is not one. Uh cool. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, we can even hide things under the, the floor now that we've got a fake flooring thing. Uh, cool, so I'm going to leave everything wood because, you know, it needs to look a bit medieval-y and cottage-y. Uh, but apart from that, what was I going to build? Um, yeah, I need to do the front and... Uh, nope. I need to figure out how to do the front with... Um, with that kind of Tudor style... Um, Oh, how do you call them? There's a term for it. And I looked it up. And I can't remember it now. Where well, you have the wooden beams that are showing. I can't remember how to call this. But let's, uh, let's go back to our reference image. So we've got the Lego house. Is not the best reference for the front. That I'm referring to. Uh, one of the other images is better. Yeah, this one. This. So white. I could try to use banners. I could try to do a white front with banners, and then hide. Uh, hide the sides of the banners with wooden beams. That could work. That could work. That could work. Just thinking, thinking, thinking. Yeah. All right. And then the cladding at the f uh, front on the third floor. Uh, I think I'm just going to use horizontal beams. Maybe core wood, but maybe just normal beams. Hmm. Let's see how we get on and then I, I probably oh i know um someone on our server apollyon made um as part of a poi <clears throat> made those amazing um water mills or um windmills and i'm not sure how he did that so i might need to go check that out to get that as a reference too but yeah for the time being let's place our walls just so we've got something to put our banners on and then we're going to test that it's going to be a lot of trial and error i've uh, clearly not planned any of this so you are part of the experiment enjoy the <laughs> enjoy the adventure the moving banners ah uh, yeah that's a problem that is true they do move Item stands and white linen capes. Yeah, but that's not vanilla friendly. It's not going to be visible for people who don't have the mod. So probably want to avoid anything that's, you know, not going to be visible. Um, but yeah, so I've got my half floor here. How high is it? Okay. And then I'm going to do already the outline for that second. I'm focusing a lot on the front because uh, that's what I w I'm most curious about. And then the rest of the house I can deal with later. So <laughs> you're going to be seeing me building a lot on this side, not so much on, on the rest. But yeah, let's see. Let's see how it goes. Um... Mm hmm that's gonna be interesting how am I gonna fill this gap beams beams are my friends maybe
be one here. Oh no, then we can't open. We can't go through, can we? Oh no. Stupid hitbox. So in that case, I'll just put one here. Oh no, that's not gonna work either. There's too much of a gap. to kind of place one here-ish. Not going to be the prettiest thing, but it will do. It will have to do. Oops, nope. Can we still leave? Yeah, okay, good. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, okay, so items that plain black metal tower shields. Uh, da, 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 da. Schaefer, da, da, da. trophy, couple smelter. <laughs> yeah, that was funny, Canaris. Okay, so we've got the bottom floor. And then I'll need to make the second floor. I will already place my wall just so I can get a sense for how tall I need to make the building. And then, um, then we'll figure out the sides of the building and the rest. But this is going to be the mezzanine thing. So we probably need to have another like this. Hey Bane, welcome. Finally yeah, a cozy cottage of my taste. Will I be invited to visit? Uh, well I'm building this on a uh, on a solar world but thanks to Jules's great plan build I could try to copy it on the creative server or you know maybe turn it into a POI if Jirok wants. Oh it looks quite bulky. Not sure I like this. Let's try it. Let's try the banner thing. Let's try that. And yeah, the problem is the banners move, don't they? So I'm not sure how well that's going to work, but let's, let's test it. Hmm. Ah, I've got a gizmo. I could. Because I want to get rid of those the flower things, not the flowers, but you know the the bits that are not straight lines. Because I'm not going to be able to hide that. Oh, that's not going to work. Hmm. That is not going to work. And I'm not sure I can hide all this. Maybe we can't do a white wall. Unless there's some tower shields that I can make, that would be. Let's see, tower shields, where are they? Can I paint tower shields white? Mm. Wooden tower shields. I mean, there's white and black, which isn't too bad, but it's still not the right shape. Mm. <laughs> and those ones don't work. What about these ones? Yeah, same here. Damn. Ah, that ain't gonna work. That is a shame. That is a shame. Okay, well, in that case, we're going to have to just uh, leave the walls as is and find another way to make those beams stand out. And I think that's going to be by using these ones, maybe. And maybe have them stick out like this. How does that look? Yeah, it looks not bad. That ain't too bad. Much 
you all think. Gives it like a wood woody look as well. Let's see, do I get like a different style if I no, they're all the same. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Stone. Yeah, the problem with stone though is you can't build small because each piece is so thick that your builds have to be massive. But yeah, I I I showed you I think a picture of um a front of the house that I've tried like medieval style and it was yeah, it was either this or I think I was using even the stone slabs because they're a bit more um they have like less texture and then um you know similarly doing this or using one of the normal beams on top of it and that looked nice but i i'm not gonna make a cottage out of stone because look at how thick the walls would be <laughs> it's just not gonna be yeah because i want to be able to go inside and like see the inside and and stuff as well so yeah i uh, might get a white wall effect with stone wall and close circlets on armor stands that is a good idea and the stone oven yeah same thing all those tricks canvas i showed you those tricks i showed you those <laughs> i did test all of that um but yeah as i said the problem is like if you use the back of these uh the back of these which look really nice as a wall look how thick it is your wall would be like three meters thick so it works for a castle but just not for a cottage that you want to live in i can make the inside elsewhere yeah i suppose i could do the bane trick but yeah this is not too bad this is not too bad just to compare with our image so oh we've got windows i forgot windows we have to sneak in windows so there's one big one on the left side and a smaller one on the right side okay yeah, let's try to do this let is okay so i need to get rid of those and ba -ba 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 -ba. Oops. That's going to be, I think, our first window. Although I wish it was a bit smaller, but I don't think I can do smaller. Hmm. Unless, I, again, I use beams. I could use a beam to kind of frame it make a bit smaller mm. stack those uh, which ones are you referring to nope Yeah, I'm the same as you, Canaris. I don't want to play on the modded server because I'm not interested in a modded, uh, novelly modded experience. Sorry, Jules. Um, it's just all the extra, like creatures and so on, are just yeah. I'm I'm not a big fan of those to be honest. So and all the extra items because again, it doesn't it just stands out too much from the game. It doesn't look like it's part or should be part of the game because simply it isn't um, and it really takes away the immersion for me so um, and also I don't have time to play on the modded server so I'm probably gonna skip it too and uh, yeah stick to playground with uh, all the other vanilla lovers yeah that's a a good take on it uh dartlet i 
If a game needs mods to be playable, enjoyable, it isn't worth playing anyway. Yeah. And I still really enjoy the vanilla experience, to be honest. Like, my favorite thing of the... Oh, no, wait. What am I doing? I'm stacking... I'm stacking them weird. Okay, I'm doing the wrong thing here. Oh, yeah, but they're gonna stick out above. Oh, yeah, maybe I need to stack them weird. Um... Yeah, the no map run, to be honest, I've enjoyed mostly just the normal game progression without a map more than the POIs and everything. Like the POIs are cool, but... And all the new creatures and stuff that they're, they're fun the first time you see them, but um, really for me it was mostly fun to play the game from the start again and have that kind of... Yeah, the game progression. So, yeah. Um, making windows. Yep. Making windows. <laughs> the windows are supposed to have, let's see. Uh, I think they're supposed to have those, um, I'm not sure how you call them, but like the diagonal grid thing, um, which. I could do a version of it and it will probably look a bit medieval. I'll do it with iron gates, I think. Let's see, iron gates, the smaller one. Whoops, I wasn't looking. Um, kind of like that, I guess. Is that working? It looks like a prison now. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if there's a better way to stack them. Let's try here. If I try to do like this, then it's a smaller grid. That would look better. Let's see if I can do that. Maybe I'll need to to move my crystals and first place the iron gates. Should have thought of that first. Okay. So I want one like that. And then the other one. Oh I need I'm gonna need a lot more. Maybe like this. Hmm. Oh, but then they're gonna be visible inside the wall. How's that look? Trying chairs? Yeah, I was thinking of the stacked chairs thing. Um, I could try that if it looks better than this. Um, yeah, maybe this I keep for the upstairs windows. There's one or two at the top that seem to need this. The stools. Where are my stools? So the trick is to stack them. But again, my wall is not wide enough for this. So it might look a bit weird. Just gonna do they're not placed properly but I'm just gonna try uh, I mostly want to see what it looks like with it sticking out it kind of looks weird hmm. but let's try let's try where I'm placing my windows because I can't really see yeah I'm not a fan it kind of looks weird just looks like I've got well stalls in the window 
right, going back to my iron, iron grip uh, gate, I think. Ah, maybe I can use this. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Because it, I can hide it underground. Hold on, let me just get rid of these things. Yeah, too much crap in here. So, light mod. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I agree with all of you. I think there's some light mods that are quality of life stuff or, to be honest, features that should exist in the game anyway that I have no problem playing with. Um, like the item stands mod and, and, and some of those. But I also um, I'm not a fan of the mods that add like completely new content and stuff that again for me takes away from a lot of the immersion. Just because it looks out of place. That's the main thing for me. It just looks out of place because it's been designed by different people and it just yeah doesn't do it for me that's just my personal opinion everyone has their own preferences is this gonna clip or is this gonna be a pain I think this is gonna be a pain well if that's the game you're playing friend I'm just gonna put a wall here Maybe. Because it looks more symmetrical that way anyway. Or does it? Is the window too small? What do you think? What do you guys think? Yeah, it's kind of not working. Alright, let me add one more beam. I might need to go on the inside for that one. It's not going to want to place itself now, I think. Come on. Come on. Hmm. Nope. Okay. Ugh. Unless I try this and then I try to stack it over it, I don't know. Sometimes this game is a little bit frustrating with the placement of things. Come on. Just want it a bit further in. Tiny bit further in. Please let me. Yeah, I know, but I'm not gonna make the build with stone. I, I actually don't like stone builds. I prefer using wood. It looks more natural. <laughs> okay, this is not gonna work. So what do I do? What do I do? What do I do with this window? Um creative solutions come on do I just stack more crystals and see what happens I don't like that the crystal is poking out but I suppose it's not too visible so meh that looks alright for a window I would like the top of it to come down further but I can't place the beam, so... Try the wood store stack on windows. Yeah, that's what I did, Bane. And it looked weird because the stores are too... Uh, too wide. Uh, what is wrong with thy window? Thy window is not symmetrical. But I guess it shall be fine. 
It shall be okay. Last attempt at doing this stupid beam thing. Nope. Nope. Oh. Is it gonna? Is it gonna? Nope. Okay, never mind. One window done. Second window. So for this second window, that's gonna be tricky. It's a tiny window. I don't have much wall space. I'm probably gonna just do a really tiny one. Unless I just need to do the beam trick again, but those beams are gonna give me trouble. Pineapple is a must. What is going on? She's a master, so my hair is absolutely perfect. No, definitely not perfect. Uh. too much stuff happening in pineapple why are we talking about pineapple pizzas plain cheese vanilla yeah got a sour pizza huh. you need to sit down and aim at the side wood because of your glass okay I'm gonna try that cherry I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna sit down. Press shift. Aim at one of the sides. Because mm, maybe I need to first remove this crystal. And then do do the thingy again. Doesn't want to do it. It doesn't want to. I think it's because of the iron gate that's in there. Uh. Yep. Yeah. Oh. No. Yep. Yeah. And I can't be bothered. So it's gonna have to do. It's gonna have to do. And then my other window, I'm going to have to figure out how to do as well. So let's do, let's frame it first. Oops, nope. Um, let's build the frame and then basically back, backing will force this now. Yeah, I don't know, and I can't. I it, I don't want to spend hours on one window, so I'm just gonna move swiftly on and hope for the best with the rest of this. Okay, so that beam is gonna stick out inside, isn't it? A tiny bit. Whoops. Is it? Yeah, it's sticking out. Damn. <laughs> I think Darth Ludai is uh, terrorizing everyone with uh, interesting pizza choices. Why is my mouse moving even though I'm not moving? What? Okay. Alright, well that's that I guess. Uh, I'm gonna make the window a little bit smaller. Adding another beam here. It's breaking out. It has to be perfectly aligned. Okay, that I think it's not too bad. Mm. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, basic builder. Basic builder who's not basic at all. Another Valheim stream. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing? I uh, I feel a bit ashamed that you joined one of my building streams because compared to you, my building skills are uh, yeah lacking. <laughs> so yeah, please please don't hate. Actually, I don't like these beams. Gotta go. Hey, Demi Gold. How's it going? No, this is not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to hide this beam behind. There we go. That works. Ugh. One pixel at a time. Yep. That's, uh, that's, mm, it's poking out from the bottom. I don't like it. Let's try again, let's try again. <laughs> Gwendolorians. <laughs> Always cracks me up. Okay, this is not too bad. I don't care too much if the inside is not, the walls are looking a bit weird because it's, uh, yeah, it's not gonna be, you know, as important to have that all looking good, but um, yeah, something weird with the side of, do I need to add a beam here? No, I think I might need to. Okay, let's make it symmetrical at least. Mm. Maybe I just do one like this. So that it adds a bit of, adds a bit of texture. <laughs> <laughs> As if I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> oh dear. Alright. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Right. Now I need to put that second one in. Okay. Hide all the imperfections with vines. Yep, that is pretty pretty good plan. That is a good idea, indeed. Why am I using this one when I could be using this one? Why? That is much easier. I shall do that on the other side too. So then I can. It doesn't poke out as much. Um. going to be cross-eyed by the end of the stream. All right. Cool. And then my glass bit. Which I'm going to also have to freehand a bit. There we go. We have a window, I think. A, a small window. Oh wait, it's poking out a bit too much on this side. Just to know what you're thinking. What are you talking about, Canvas? Yeah, I'm trying to this out of three. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm going to try to add this in just for style. Yeah, not bad. I'll do. That will do. Let's compare. Hold on, let me take my lamp off so there's no glare. Uh, 
I know there's a gap in, uh, at the top of the door, but that's just because these doors are not designed tall enough for Vikings to go through if you add a beam on top of it. So I have to have uh, ventilation above the door. That's just, yeah, don't, don't blame me on that. Blame, blame the devs. <laughs> Uh, and what I don't like about this is I want this to be actually, oh, am I going to regret this? Because now I'm not sure I'm going to be able to put it back in. Ah, fart. Sometimes you have to do weird stuff for the snap points and everything to work. Oh no, I just did the same thing I had before. Hmm. So how do I have it? Like, I want it there. Well, you know what? If that's a natural snapping point, I'm just going to go with the flow. That'll do. That will do. And you know what? Actually, it might frame the window nicely if I put another one higher up. Oh, what happened here? I would like it to go all the way to the top, but you know, it's not bad. So let's compare this with the reference image I have. Yeah, we've got a small window and a bigger window. And they're not even aligned properly in the image, so <laughs> I think that will do. <laughs> it looks a bit... My version looks like... Uh, yeah, the Wish version, but <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Don't forget uh, how great and how much Gwen looks just like Winifred Sanderson. Thank you. Dipstick, you got it. I have the teeth. Well done, Dip. And... Yeah, you need to teach me how to use blueprints, absolutely. Please, please do. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, so what do I do next? Should I do some of the side walls or should I carry on working on the front? There's some more windows. Oh no, I don't want, I don't like the windows. I think the top windows are going to be a bit easier though, because they're, yeah, they're going to be a bit easier. Let's hope. Okay, let's go. Let's try. No, the reference looked like it has, it doesn't have stone. It is wattle and daub is uh is usually what it is it's not stone it's uh chalk and uh wood basically which is why i don't want to build this with stone because it wouldn't be it wouldn't be very true to the kind of builds that you would uh have in those environments so yep gonna all come down isn't it uh, doesn't matter. so we have one two, two, two small window here and bigger window here 
Uh, should I do the same thing for this one? Maybe, and then... Oh, I can actually do two of those because... Because, because the top is going to be hidden. So I'm going to do that. And then on this one, I'm going to use just the iron gates because... Because reasons. Wattle and Daub. Yeah, I mean, I've explored my fair share of medieval buildings to uh, know more or less how they would be built and what would be common to see. And for a cottage in the middle of the woods uh, that a witch would inhabit, it would definitely not be made out of stone. It would be probably a wooden cottage. So, no stone. Are those windows too big? They look a bit too big. Or it's maybe because the ceiling is... Not the ceiling, the, the top is too high. Alright, let me try something. Uh, maybe if I frame them a bit better. Because then the top is going to be anyway. Just a bunch of beams. Still a bit big, maybe. Now it's a shame that we don't have like a uh, one by one version of this beam because I can't. I'm gonna have to. Gonna have to improvise a bit here. Uh, oops. I wish there was a smaller version of this. Alright, let's place these, all of these first and then we'll figure out Are we talking about it would be made out of bread and sugar yes <laughs> gotta go be nice and don't go feeding Gwenlins after midnight Gwenlins that's another good one see you arc thanks for joining yeah uh, dipstick wattle and daub is actually one of the oldest uh, wall building techniques even in the neolithic they were basically using that and it was basically uh, mud or mixed with the clay and hay and sometimes cow dung <laughs> um, and covering uh, wattle which is basically um, pieces of wood mostly um, oh, what do you call it like wicker baskets you use willow willow yeah so um sticks of willow that you basically weave together to form like a fence or a wall and then you would your mix you take your mixture of mud and stuff and just cover it on both sides to make your wall basically that's the oldest version of the wattle and daub that uh 
people used in the yeah in the Neolithic, um, so Bronze Age and and so on. So yeah, very old construction method. There you go, a piece of uh, nerdiness here. Thanks for joining my TED talk on <laughs> what all and all. Uh, damn. Okay, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to have it. Oh. The problem with Gizmo is that it's too many rotation points. It's confusing. Hey, Kongville. Nice to have you. I hope you're well. I saw that you were building some spooky stuff too. And uh, I, I joined briefly uh, or I checked out briefly one of your streams on, on demand uh, where you were starting to build your, your spooky house around the bone mass uh, spawner altar, which looks really cool. Okay, so I think I've got it rotated in the right way. The problem is I need it the other way. Damn it. I'm going to have to try to place it somewhere else then. Maybe here. I can change gizmo to eight ticks. Oh, good to know. That would be good because this is not easy. Ah, ah. Okay, that's not too bad. Except, yeah. Like this. There we go. Okay, that that's what I was trying to do. I think. Is that what I was trying to do? Yeah, ish. Ish. So now I need to turn it the other way around. Uh, which axis is it? That's the problem is I never know which... Ah. Ah? No. I always get so confused by the axis of... Gizmo. Oh. How do you how do you rotate it? Nope. Okay. Like this. Like this? But then I want to No, it's sticking out too much. How do I change this axis of rotation? Whoa. See, this is why I hate mods. Ah, there we go, finally. One more. Nope. That is not. Still not. Oh, this is annoying me. This is annoying me. How do I rotate it in a way that is symmetrical to the other side? Oh, wait, that kind of works, I think. Or does it? Are you going to clip? Are you going to be a friend or a foe? Come on. Just clip. Just clip where I want you to clip. Please don't be annoying. Oh no. Why is it sticking out on the other side? This is weird. I don't understand these rotations. Gizmo, I hate it. I hate it already. Hey, morning darkness. 
Uh, see you, basic builder. Thanks for joining. Oh, this is driving me nuts. I think I'm just going to stick it here and call it a day. Because this is annoying me. No, it looks awful. It looks awful. Have another drink. saying to try <laughs> Kongville I have yet to try gizmo how do you like it I fucking hate it that's what I'm telling you it's just a rotation there's too many axes it's just it's confusing to me it's uh yeah I I'm I'm finding it a bit frustrating right now like how hard is it to just replicate what I did on the other side with this stupid piece. Okay, let's try again. No, that's not the right rotation. And that's the thing, I, I have to constantly try the different keys. How do I rotate it sideways? I don't understand, like tilt it. Well, is that enough? Why can't I now tilt it the other way? I don't... This is... This is stupid. I'm trying all the keys. It's not letting me rotate the other way around. Oh, damn, this is annoying. I have... So I have the three keys for the three different axes, but it doesn't seem to want to rotate in the way I need it to. Oh, oh, finally, finally. Okay, okay. So now I just, I think I, I think I found a way, finally. Oh, <laughs> took way too long to figure this one piece and chances are I'm not even going to like it. That's what I did earlier, but it's not exactly that rotation. It's one more. I think that's what's on the other side, but it's sticking out, right? It's sticking out weirdly. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I'm gonna... I think I'm just gonna give up on this rotation thing. It's just annoying me too much. Last try. If this is not working, I give up. It's sticking out too much. Why is it sticking out so much? It's sticking out a little bit on this side, but not as much. Do I care at this point? It's not symmetrical. It's not rotated the same way. But... I think I ran out of fucks to give. So I'm gonna move on. Tend to rotate on one axis and then the other. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do, but it's uh Yeah. Whatevs, whatevs. Let's move on and build the top piece and then I'll do the side walls and try to make that wheel as well. That looks really cool. Um Okay. Ah, what's the best way to make it look good? It's to do something like that, right? To have, oops. Um, to have it basically. Nope. Let's see. <laughs> I 
Of course there's cursing and raging. That's pretty much building in Valheim. Oh no, I need to cover this whole thing. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep placing them. Yep. And then Oh, I should probably add this beam. Let's see if Morning Darkness can guess the Sanderson sister. Sisters! Oh, I would place it here and not over there. Come on. One last beam. Yes, there we go. Good. Okay. So I need to carry on building that. And. Ha have a guess, Kongdale. <laughs> nice job, morning. Is it the, the lipstick that gave it away? I did consider trying uh, Mary, but then I was like, how am I going to do the, the pointy hair? It's going to be uh, going to be challenging. Hey, Captain Fossil. Okay, so we'll keep going with this and then I need to add a window somewhere. Another window. Ah. Um, I'm going to build the outline of the window, I think, just so I can place these. <laughs> well done for guessing. So one window here and then another one a bit higher, I think. Oops. Let's do my finishing touches to the window so that it's done. stick to small windows I think for this one in fact actually oh no I broke the wrong thing oh yeah no that's fine Gwentix like Antix can be another thing <laughs> it is a punny name it is okay so window number one is there oh no i should have made it a bit to the side yeah okay i'm gonna move the window it shouldn't be too hard to do just need to move add this beam here So one window here and then there's one further up, but I can worry about that one a bit later on. <laughs> when is everything to us? Gwentix. Gwenifred. Nice one. <laughs> nice Congil. 
Gwenifred. Uh, okay. Let's carry on with this wall thing. Maybe they're a bit too aligned. Should I try to make them a bit less aligned on purpose so that they stick out more? I'm going to weather everything once uh, once it's done anyway. Just make it look a bit more damaged. So for like for style, but I'll do that at the end. She says before destroying her whole build by mistake. Oh yeah, I saw that uh, video that you're talking about, the one where uh, Matt, Matt the Builder, I think his name is, um, he did a trick to make a, turn a boat into an elevator to go and build on um, underwater, which is really cool. Really good trick. All right, a wall is progressing. The house is getting taller. Oh wait, I forgot to take something into account. I'm gonna have a triangle shape because there's a roof there. Ha. Ha. Hmm. In that case, I need to start building the side of the house. I'm doing everything kind of in a very weird way. It looks like a Hollywood uh, fake, you know, facade thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to build for now. And I'm going to use the tar. The tar roof, because it looks the most like in the picture. Oops, nope. And does it perfectly join here? Yes. Nice. I like when a plan comes together. So now I need to find a way to make this thing without it sticking out so much. So how am I going to do this? Um, I'm probably going to hide it all with these beams afterwards. What am I building? Captain Fossil. I am building this house, which is the Hocus. If you've watched Hocus Pocus, it's the Sanderson sisters cottage, which is uh, the, the three witches in uh, Hocus Pocus. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to build that house of them, but that they live in. So, and I don't have many reference pictures. My only references are this one picture of the movie uh a couple of pictures but like of the exterior i only have like three pictures this one this one of the door and then this one from afar and then the rest of the pictures are from uh, screen grabs of the movie from inside the cottage uh but for the actual structure of the build <laughs> i've been using this uh this lego set the Hocus Pocus Lego set because somehow it's the better one to use to figure out what shape everything is. So yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm trying to build. But uh, yeah, it's a bit a uh, bit challenging. I'm building is not my strong point, and yeah, the water wheel will be will be interesting for sure. So I think I'm going to have to remove all these unfortunately and try to find a way to... Mm, how am I going to do this? It's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. I'm mm, going to have to use this gizmo thing again. Ah. Oh, 
Oops. I did not mean to click that. Let's see. Does this work? Kind of. Kind of. Yeah, I suppose that works. So now I need to somehow find a way to hide those. I have to use the small beans. Oh, those corners are going to be a bit of a pain. Hmm. I might need to resort to these guys just to hide some of it without too much uh, effort. Take a few shortcuts. No one will notice. No one will know. Problem is, now that I've placed this, it's not going to want to place itself properly clip on this piece, is it? So I have to do the same on the other side. should kind of hide most of it. I just need to manage to clip this one. Come on. I might need to take this off and redo. Slowly taking shape though. It's not the prettiest but is something. Oh, and that top window though. How am I going to do that? I might do a fake window. As in I'm literally going to just plonk this here and pretend it's a window. What could I use? Um, I could use... What item do we have in the game that kind of gives a bit of a reflection? Um... Nothing square. I mean, I could. No, nah, that's too big. Uh, maybe. Could do a circular window? Don't have something square that shines, do we? Iron and bronze buckler. Yeah, I was thinking that, but they're circular. I guess it's better than nothing. I think this is a bit more kind of squarish. Maybe if I take uh, this one. What do you mean I'm carrying too much? Up here now. So I need an item stand. I need to place this thing. Nope. And then hide it with one of these. Of it. 
it looks more like a clock yeah maybe the bon the buckles are better mm. iron buckler maybe I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's working. Let's uh, let's first do the outline of the. Oh, why is there a random beam over there? What's this about? What's this about? to do my window outline the front is slowly starting to look like something not promising anything pretty but it's something see anything again that's better much better okay so I can't even see the iron grid why is that it's because it's clipping too far in I think it might be I think I might need to abandon the idea of a window here it's gonna be too much of a pain to make it show see you Canaris thanks for joining poking out a bit more but I guess it's fine fake window all right so let's carry on with our wall building and then after that I'll do the side of the house and the water mill which is going to be interesting Oof that corner is going to be hard to, to place <laughs> see you Jules thanks for joining looking forward to the blueprint of it yeah you'll have to I might need to a reminder a refresh on how to how to do blueprints too <laughs> see you around Oh, Hugen is coming to tell me how bad I am at the game. It's fine, Hugen, I knew. I didn't need you to tell me. I acknowledge. Okay, this is uh this is not, not working. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I need to remove these pieces and then place them again later but I'm a bit worried to do that because if I don't manage to put them back then I'll be uh, I'll be annoyed 
this side. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. YOLO. Shut up, Hugin. I don't need your help or your advice. Okay. This is uh, not going too bad for now. Let's see. Doors and backing walls, happy placements. Yeah, I've tried that trick a couple of times. It doesn't seem to... I don't know, maybe I'm doing it wrong, but it's not really working for me. I know, Hugin is a bit... Doesn't take no for an answer, does he? Come on. See what I'm doing. Come on. Oh, I think that's it. Tiny hole in the middle at the top there, but oh no, it's not it. Ugh. Hmm. No. no. Ta da! <laughs> It looks really wonky. Let's uh, let's just say it's the, it's it's the style. It's it's uh, on purpose that it looks wonky. Now what I I disabled you. No, I didn't. Okay. I'm too high. Oh, there you go. Oh, no. Ooh, there you go. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> I wish we all seem to his wish to see Hugin in hell. Yep, pretty much. Okay. It's starting to take shape. How does it look? How does it look compared to my reference here? Not bad, not bad. We have most of the elements of it. Looks a bit wonky still in parts, but... Oh, a tiny bit of detailing I might add is uh, under the recess on the... Uh, above the ground floor, there's some beams sticking out. I might try to do that here too on my wish.com version uh, and for that I think I'm gonna use this yep that should do the trick pretty easily is it not gonna clip properly friend why is it not It's going to be easier to do it that way. Okay, I'll do it that way then. There we go. Tiny bit of detail. Oh, it does really add a lot to it. Mm, good idea, good idea. Uh, should I build some... Yeah. It's because I can see the floor otherwise. I don't 
gaps in the floor. You don't want mice coming in. Okay. All right. So actually let's do that all along. Replacing my foundations with this, and then we'll tackle this side of the house so we can make our water mill. <laughs> or do I wa want want mice? I do like rats. I used to have pet rats. They were cute. What is a witch without her familiars? Is there a bigger version of those beams? No, there isn't. Okay. Mice make excellent spell ingredients. That is very true, Dawn. be good to have uh, reserves right under the house. <laughs> oh yeah, you really, you always wanted pet rats? Yeah, they're cute. I call them like mini dogs because they are just that smart and they're also very affectionate. I, m one of my rats, I managed to teach him tricks. I taught him to spin um, and obviously like because I was teaching him to to do it with by giving him treats basically at, at one point once he understood that often if he spins he gets a treat uh, that was his way of asking for food when he was hungry he would just like <laughs> spin around it's so cute All right, so we've got the side of our house. Are we doing a plain wall or uh, let's see what's in the picture? Um, ha, huh, what I might do for that side wall just to add a bit of interest to it, a bit of texture is instead of doing that, I might actually do it the other way around. Have the wall go like this. All the way up, I guess. Might as well close it off. Your house sat for pet rats once morning. What did you think? really like nesting oh yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. they they love um, a bit like uh, like dogs actually again mini dogs they yeah they like hiding Okay, so that is one side of our wall. Captain P Fossil had pet spiders. Yeah, I've uh, never had spiders, but I do like spiders. They're good for the environment. And I, if I see spiders in the house, I usually let them be. They become my housemates. I give them names and stuff because they they get rid of the flies and the mosquitoes, which is good. Yeah. 
Yeah, Kongville. I uh, I do like. I wouldn't do it for all builds, but for a build like this, where this that other wall, I'm not gonna bother with the vertical beams. Um, I think it it's it's pretty cool. It adds a bit. Uh, it adds to it. Actually, I say that I'm just gonna add this one because it looks weird otherwise. Hmm. And I might add one or two more here and there, but not overdo it on this side. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Tarantulas. Yeah, tarantulas are pretty chill. They don't, uh, they're not harmful or anything. Spiders, yeah, good pest control. For sure. But I also understand a lot of people are scared of spiders. I don't mind them. As long as they're not, like, huge. Those that freak me out a bit are the ones that have, like, really large bodies. Like, I like the tiny, cute little ones. They're, they're nice. They can They can live under my roof, that's fine. But yeah, the really big ones I'm less inclined to uh, want to wanna have around. But yeah, as long as they stay out of uh, of my bedroom, really. If they're in the the, the thing is, my dog tend to tends to hunt the the bigger spiders, so. Oh wow, already 8,000 instances. Well, it doesn't need to be very functional, so it doesn't matter. So I've got one side of the house done. And uh, now I need to, oh no, there was a recess on that side too. Ah, okay. So I need to redo this bit. level of the recess actually is the recess all the way around or let's see let's see what our trusted source the lego <laughs> piece says wall seems pretty straight to me so it is just that bit that's sticking out okay which would make sense because you can see it here okay 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 got it got it got it so same thing here then same again oops First, let's build the wall. So for that one, actually, let's go back to our Lego set. Because for this one, ah, it's the beam thing again. So, okay. Oh, yeah, of course, shutters. That's something I didn't add to my windows. 
something I'm probably not going to add because they're all weirdly shaped. Oops, no. Uh, are there windows here? Maybe I should put one window just for good measure. Bit of natural light, not too much. Okay, I'm going to keep it simple for this window. There we go. Right, and then these guys. And I'm not going to bother with the vertical ones because not the vertical, the diagonal ones, because nope. Not inflicting that on me again. Oh no. How can I make that fit in here? Hmm. go okay actually do we have oh no we don't have a cross that's with tar wood <coughs> excuse me uh we don't have that would be cool to have like a cross thing like that that would be tar wood but maybe i can use these ones no i can't they don't show up. What if I use them here? No. Thank you, dipstick. Ah, it's a shame that they're being hidden. Thank you, Darth Luddite. Yeah, that's not working. Not working. Okay. So, where, where, where should we go next? Um, I'm probably going to do this wall just so I don't forget how I made the other wall. Just replicate it. <laughs> Sneeze again. No. I do need to blow my nose though. But I'm not going to do that because it's gross. <laughs> I had to be contrary. It's not looking too shit. I mean, it's not as beautiful as most buildings <laughs> that I see from other people, but for uh, for one of my builds, it's not too bad. Let's build out the roof a bit more. See how it looks with the with the roof on it. Oh yeah, and I didn't even think about like structural integrity in any way, shape or form. So that's going to be interesting as some of these pieces start falling down. Okay, so that looks okay. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Can be better, can be worse. Uh, let's add another one of our Ooh, or should we do a iron beam up here 
Or should we stick with our theme? Oh yeah, no, that's much nicer actually. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Next, 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 next. <laughs> oh, that's very polite, dipstick. Not a bad thing. Oh, I forgot to do my uh, the beam cover ups. Okay, I need to do that using Gizmo. Oh. Hold on, okay, so we need to figure out the rotation first. Nope, not that one. Not that one. That one then. Nope. Why is it not rotating the way I need it to? Oh, it's because that's not the piece. It was this piece. There we go. Okay. And so that rotated like this. And I had basically, can I place it high on top of it? Mm. Are these going to be an issue? No. Oh, thank you, Kongville. That's kind. Uh, oh no. Eh. Is it better or is it worse? I'm not sure. I think what I don't like is, I think I'm gonna redo the roof. I want a roof overhang. Yeah, I think that's what needs to happen. Ah, oh, crap. Wrong piece. No. Oh no, I destroyed all the wrong pieces. Oh damn. Oh no, that's gonna be hell. Ah, there we go. I think so. Oh no, that's going to be so frustrating to try to place back. I, th I think I got it. Not sure. My Viking lives in a drafty outhouse with spiders and rats. <laughs> Just clip on that piece. Why is it not? I'm gonna have to destroy this one. Please clip. Please. There we go. Oh no, that was the the one that was a pain in the ass to put. Yep, well that piece is not going back on. It's fine, it's fine, no one will notice. Okay, so I'm just gonna move my roof to have a bit of an overhang, which will also solve my problem here. I believe. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's a bit too much of an overhang. Oh yeah, that looks weird. Ah, shoot. Can't do that. 
can't do that. That's because of those pieces here. Unless, unless I try something a bit crazy. Which would be to do this. To place a wall that's not fully clipped on top or double roof it. Double roofing. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Yeah, that's a good tip, dipstick. How's it gonna look like from inside? Is it gonna look awful? Probably. Do I care? Probably not. Unless I wanted to still try to make them connect, just for... Nah. This roof looks alright. At least from the outside it looks alright. Yeah, it's better with the overhang. <laughs> I wouldn't want any of the smoke getting out. <laughs> Exactly. So, 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 so. How am I going to do that on the other side now? I need to replicate this. Is it going to connect? No, of course it's not going to connect. So I'm going to probably have to do the same. I... Oh, I need to finish building this. Uh, this wall first. <laughs> First set of wall, and then the double roof comes in. Yeah. New socks for your 23 months old baby. They're size four years old. Is it, uh, wait, 40? That's like four, four years old? Yeah, your baby is really big. Your baby is like a little man. Not a baby anymore. Oh no, crap, that's not what I wanted to do. Is this gonna work or ah uh, yeah, that's a problem. I'm gonna have to leave the double double ceiling and double roof inside so it doesn't fall apart. Um it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna look a bit shabby here. Is it really noticeable? Not really, I guess. Just here. Yeah, you can't really see that there's a double. I'll just put beams inside and hide it like that. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> Oh no! Why? Make it work, please. Oh no! It worked on the other side, I don't understand. Do I need to maybe build it closer? Oh! Chaos. Destruction. Ah. Okay, let's try again.
Ah, I think I know why. I need to place it directly on on top of one of these pieces, not on top of the of that other beam. Yeah, now it's now it's fine. Okay, okay, okay. I'm figuring things out. Mm, does it look a bit weird here? Oh yeah, we'll have to figure that out. Oh, I know what we're gonna put here. Well, obviously, a witch house has to have one of these. It's not in the original design, but hey, a bit of creative license with the cool items we have in game. Yeah, perfect. Plus it solves my problem of the beam not being perfectly aligned. <laughs> Ah, yeah, that's a very good point about the beams, vertical beams. Good point. I shall add those in. Thanks for that. Mm. Oh, why is this one not stuck in? Yeah, slightly longer delay for for the structural damage, the collapse. Yes and no, because sometimes you're building fast and then you don't realize stuff is is not gonna work and then it's like breaking um, too late for you to realize. So I guess it I guess it depends on the scenario. Ooh, it's starting to look cozy in here. I like the uh, the whispers coming from the from here. It's cool. Oops, no, wrong one. Again. Oh, no. Okay. Am I doing a window on this side? Probably. Do should I do it now? Now nah, I'll finish the roof first. Okay, so there we go. Mm. I need another beam here. I'm gonna need to add some structural support inside as well let me see because there are definitely beams anyway uh, on the inside because you see it oh no you don't see it in the Lego set <laughs> but in these pictures you can see the beams supporting beams here which I think are probably the ones that are supporting the mezzanine overhang thing yeah you can see them all around okay I'll do that I'll make some oh and look at this it kind of looks like the tar beams these ones they look a bit um, Oh no, this one is a normal one, but this one kind of, maybe it's just a reflection of the light, but it kind of looks like a tar beam. Should I go with the tar beams or normal beams? What do you guys think? Hmm. 
need to pick a beam type. Hey, Jeremiah. You just watched Hocus Pocus last week? Yeah. I watched Hocus Pocus 2 recently, which is what um, gave me this idea. Um, okay, so uh, what was I saying? I need to... I need to make the inside supporting beams. So there's one around here near the door. The question is, do I go with tar or do I go with normal or even core wood? Core wood might look a bit weird. I think it's better to go with Tar beams, you reckon, Kongville? Hmm. What I'm worried about if I put too many tar beams is like there's so much detail with it. Oh, but I do want to use those pieces, so yeah, okay. Tar beam, tar beam. Let's do a tar beam. Break everything, just don't do that. So then we get a bit more support here on the roof as well, which should be good. Or is it going to stick out? Oh, no. Oh, perfect height, it's not sticking out. Good, 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 good. good. Totally not predicted. Um. All right, so I guess I need to put it more or less on the same side. Is that one sticking out? Oh, a tiny bit, but not enough to be an issue. Okay, so then I think I want to put one of these kind of here, maybe, to look like that's what's supporting the mezzanine. Oh. Mm. Not high enough. Oh, there we go. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. It looks like in the picture. Nice. And so same here. Cool, 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 cool. Um. So what else? What else am I needing to build inside here? So this is going to be a whole second floor. Maybe I should put some flooring here. Oh. Bambi's not watching anymore, but I do wish we had this um, option to kind of shift and sh like click shift and drag to cover like a whole area with floor or roof. So you don't need to do it piece by piece like this, like you do in The Sims, because that would be glorious. Because this is always a bit painful to do. I've not done the back of the house at all. Oops. Or even this side. Um, let's close up this piece of wall. Okay. And then. Like, like this, if I could just drag to have this whole length done in one go, that would be amazing. Jaws, if you come back to watch the replay, please, please make this a feature. That will be a mod I use. Floor. 
now I need to work on um, oh finishing this roof that's what I was doing Ooh, it's getting orange I need more support beams soon uh, actually I don't like that the beams are going all the way up what they should do because that's how the main houses is they should have yeah a second kind of layer that comes out here oh okay so I'm gonna have to make more beams Probably here. Oops. I have to stick them here for now and then I'll leave them later. <laughs> no, I'm not hurting any nicks. AFK sleeping as in wait sleeping why is it not working I need another beam in between damn it <laughs> oh no <laughs> like lizards just cut their tails off and let them go. Hmm. I've not figured out where I want my stairs either. Maybe I should figure this out so I'm not building stuff in the way oh no I'm stuck oh I got stuck I think I can get rid of these ones see you Confil <laughs> Thank you. See you around. See you, Captain Fossil. Thanks for joining. all coming together I think it's not breaking so that's good Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh. Okay. So the inside looks all right. Starting to look like a church. Hmm. To make it look, le look less churchy. How was it inside? Oh, 
So there's definitely those beams like that. And there's like beams that go across that are quite low. Hmm. And then and then there's like a mezzanine. And the stairs are at the back. But I'm not sure where. Okay, let's try. So really, um, I need to bring the, all those beams down there too far up. Well, I suppose this is the attic. So I could still have that. Would it be better to frame a big build out like a bank barn and then flesh it out? Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's kind of what I'm trying to do, but I've not yet figured out the the placement of the different floors and stuff. Um, because there's definitely like a second floor or at least a mezzanine that I need to build out. Maybe here? Is that poking out on the other side? No. No. I think. I think there's that. It feels like that's how it's built. Oh wait, I think they turn to Yeah, I'm I'm not sure, I'm not very good with like knowing how things should be. Uh, should be built and proofed and stuff. Actually, I don't like the orientation of that. Let's try it that way. <laughs> yeah, I'm like... Jon Snow, I know nothing. Gwen Snow. Thinks you need copper to build a smelter. Where are we placing our stairs? That's the that's the question. If 
we enter through here. So let's just see how it feels to get in this house. That's not looking too bad. I'm not mad at it. It's obviously adding like the whole bit at the back and uh, it's missing that and then it's missing the wheel here, but it's not too gross. And then when you enter, you get into this area. We'll frame that flooring with the beams. So it looks a bit neater. <laughs> Quinn the build maiden. <laughs> well, I'm not sure about that. to have gizmo, don't we, friends? Therefore, we can rotate to get only the black bit. work for this bit but at least it works for that one and maybe I'll add it here too what do we think do we prefer it like that yeah it looks a bit more neutral otherwise it's too much of the squiggly bits going on I could even just put normal beams, couldn't I? But then we've got this bit here. So, stairs. I need stairs somewhere. Uh, maybe I should build this wall first. So here too, I'm not gonna overcomplicate things. I'm just gonna build a simple wall. Thanks, Dipstick. Thank you for the encouragement. I appreciate it. I like that the house comes with a sound effect. Really cool. It's like there's magic going on in here. I will, once I build the chimney and stuff, I will need to try um, that uh, uh, the heart of the forest thing that Canaris was talking about which is apparently the, the pink bit without everything um, around it so I might try that at some point and I'll add windows at some point too Oh, it's Darth Luddite who was saying Gwen the build maiden. Um, okay, okay, okay. Where are we at with our... Let's see, Lego bits. Lego house, tell us how the rest is made. Ah, I might need to swap this wall over. Or not. Uh, 
and then this bit is poking out oh those roof pieces are going to be interesting it's going to look a bit messy i reckon okay so i made my box now to check which I could have used on the other side too. I didn't think of it. Forgot that these pieces existed, to be honest. Um, two chimneys hmm I'll work those out later oh yeah I need to add a piece of wall here swapping them around so we do see at least one beam horizontal beam running through the top okay so this piece is concealed that's good we need to work out the rest of the roofing and i wonder if there's going to be an overhang on this side nope that's fine, that's okay. Can't have an overhang everywhere. Oh, it's gonna be this piece. Oops. my um, building the order in which I'm building things is very unconventional I, I know <laughs> it's like oh no wait look oh no no it's fine it's fine it's like I'm doing things in a weird order it's okay I'm just going with the flow okay can I sneak in here so how am I gonna do this piece that's that's a question. Um, oh, I've never used those pieces because they're too weird. My brain doesn't compute. But I think this is what it's for. Um, I just don't understand how they're supposed to clip, really. Here. That, I guess. Is that how it's supposed to go? Oh, yeah, kind of. Kind of. Ah, I see. It's just clipping on the wrong one. Okay, maybe it's easier if I do it from here. Yep. Oh, look at that magic. Oh, would you look at that? That is beautiful. Uh, I think it's the first time I actually use these pieces. <laughs> um, okay, how am I going to do this bit? Uh, how am I 
I supposed to do this bit? Oh no, and then my roof is a bit weird over here, so it's gonna look strange. I think I'm simply gonna have to close it off with a wall. Cheat a little bit. Because of my double roof shenanigan. I think it's gonna be too hard to try to close it off neatly with roof pieces, so I think I'm gonna cheat a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Do need to put a beam over here though. Not gonna get destroyed. Nope. Okay. Cool. Ooh. Um I'm gonna add just a little support beam here before it all breaks. Okay. Now I need to go back inside. Probably should close this off like this. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I got a roof. Oh, there's a hole still, but not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so I need the staircase. Let's go back to our pictures, figure out where Lego deems the staircase should be. So Lego is not putting a staircase. Oh no, they're putting the staircase here? Ah, huh. interesting. So Lego is putting the staircase. Is that the end? Is that the entrance here, or is that the back of the house? No, no, the entrance is over there. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the the entrance is uh, on the f the f the far back wall of this image. I don't know if you can. Oh, yeah, you can see my mouse. Okay. So this is the entrance, and the staircase is directly kind of facing it. And then you've got that gallery going around. So that's what I need to make is a staircase there. And let's just double check those pictures. Yeah, you've got beam here, door here. Can't really see much here. But there's a chimney. Upstairs is a bed. Couple of chandeliers hanging. And the staircase. <laughs> yeah, morning. I've been using the Lego set as a bit of a guide because it was good to see the shape of the house using this oh there's a bit of a recess at the back it's not it's like a cross almost a house but me i made mine flat it's okay um yeah so there's a chimney here and another one at the back, so the fireplace should be on the side of the wall where there's the wheel. Fireplace here, and then another fireplace here. Okay. Okay, let's go back to our game. So we want one fireplace here. It's going to be tricky now that I've put a 
go over here and then our staircase should be here let's make the staircase It joins up. Nope. Crap. I think my staircase is going to have to be slightly different. I'm going to have to make a uh, I don't like building staircases. Custom stairs. I could, I could, but I'll, I prefer staircases that you can just easily walk up, not have to jump up, if you know what I mean. Uh, I think I'm just gonna have to make one that goes around. Or, I can cheat a bit. I'm going to cheat a bit. I'm going to make use of the coal on the flooring to make sure that my staircase reaches. Gonna cheat and make a slightly bigger staircase. on the floor. <laughs> no, I'm not I'm not destroying the whole thing, don't worry. <laughs> I don't like it. What do we do everything? No. Just wanna make uh Okay. That should work. Let me just fix the holes here. Mm. Yeah. Da, 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 da. And then hopefully, yes, it joins. Joins up. Cool, 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 cool. Well, that's a victory. Not sure how it's oops how it's gonna look though once I put those back on might look a bit weird but me but Darth just a little oh you're not called Darth for nothing hey um, well 
Voilà. No, this kind of looks weird. I don't know why I did this. I think it was the other one that I should have done. Nope. Not even that. Place a hot tub upside down. Oh yeah, that would be interesting. trying to pretend to make a banister but not sure what it's going to look like They're not attaching to this piece. What? How is it not doing the same thing as the other side? Go home, beam, you're drunk. What? Why is it not connect? Oh, I know why. It's me. I did the stupid. Because I didn't actually make this one high enough. There we go. Ah, but that kind of looks weird because it's hanging. Extreme concentration here. It's not the best, not the worst. It's just all right. it's functional stairs. I'm not mad at it. And then here we want to be twisting our twisting our beam. So we've got yeah, okay. That don't look too bad. Uh, so what next, what next, what next? We've got our stairs that take you to the gallery bit. 
Uh, there's supposed to be a chimney here, so that's going to be tricky. Because there's this whole other floor. I think I'm going to have to make another set of stairs to access this bit. Or maybe a ladder or something. Uh, because here I need a chimney. Because if I look at the outside of the house, I am going to need... Oh, I'm not sure I like that overhang over there. Kind of looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Or is it that this whole wall needs to be sticking out a little bit more? Maybe that's that's the thing. Maybe that's the problem. Yeah, the shape is not great. I'm not in love with the shape. Let's see. It's supposed to look. Mm, yeah, maybe it needs to stick out a bit more. In here, it doesn't. So I'm not entirely sure why mine is not looking quite right. Yeah, if you compare, mine is looking... Mm, I wonder if it's because I made this square bit too long. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Oh, damn, I'm going to have to move all the walls. Okay. I think that's something where I'm going to have to learn how to use plan build to bring the walls forward or bring this whole piece here forward because I don't want to have to rebuild all of it. Should have checked this first. Yeah. But yeah, it just looks like the back is a bit too far, uh, too far out. I need to, to bring it all back in a bit. Oh, just as I had finished the staircase as well. Yeah, basically I need to bring it back by. Oh, but we're going to have a problem because we're going to have this. Then it's going to be like in the way of the stairs ah so it's this whole front wall that i need to bring back i need to basically shuffle this in oh that's going to be complicated also it's going to make the f flow a bit weird to get in because we're going to be walking straight into the cauldron. Because if the door's here... Oh no, actually it's not too bad if you walk in and you've got some space. Okay, so I need to somehow shuffle the whole front back by two meters. I think I'm gonna have to have a session with Jules and see if he can help me use the mod properly so I can just copy this whole front wall and just paste it back at the back here so I don't need to redo everything because this front wall was definitely the hardest one to build yeah I think that's what we're gonna have to do. 
but I think that will be a task for next stream. I'm pretty happy with how much I managed to do in just one one play session. I'll definitely need to come back to it to finish the rest. But yeah, it's like almost half 1 a.m. Uh, now, so I'm probably going to have to wrap up for today and then work out with Jules, maybe if he's up for helping me, how to sort this wall, bring it back one. And then after that, I'll, uh, I'll be able to finish the outside, um, add the wheel here, put some decorations, um, work on this back piece here, which, yeah, depending on how it looks like once that, that whole front wall is further back. Oh, it looks like the back piece is coming down lower. Oh, hold on. Yeah. I don't think these roof pieces are supposed to join because if we look at this picture, looks like the left piece is lower. The left, uh, this whole area here is lower than this one. Let's see what Lego says. Yep, 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 it's lower. Okay, so I need to redo the roof here anyway. Um, maybe I'll do that quickly just so that I don't, or at least start it so I don't forget to put it back. Um, yeah, so basically it needs to come down a bit lower. How much lower? Probably. Oh, so there is probably no second floor on this side then. Ah, interesting. So here it should be something like, oh, what's going on? There we go. Should be something like this on this side. Yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick. Shouldn't take me too long. And then, yeah, that will be a good place to leave the leave this build until next time. But yeah, I hate like not finishing something because now I'm gonna go to bed and I know I'm gonna be thinking about it. I'm gonna. I'd rather if I have to build something, do it in one go. Or same with decoration. Oh no, that's not the right pieces. I'm gonna have to figure out how to make those uh, pieces, all those different bits of roof join up. It's gonna be interesting. I suspect it's gonna be an easy little fix like basically closing this piece off. Like that. Maybe. Is there no piece that basically goes just like a V shape? No, interesting. Okay, well. I'll make do with these, I guess. And this piece. And even this wall. Ah, so that's why there is no second stack, is because there's no need for one, because it's only the mezzanine, but there is no Oh, the floor there. Cool. 
that makes things easier. Of course, I'll add a window and all that, but that looks more like it. Yeah, that looks a lot more like it. Okay, that makes sense. We just need to push all that that whole wall, front wall back then. And I need to close this bit off as well. So I should go inside to do this. So creepy. Who's whispering at me? The great wolves are trying to tell me something. It reminds me of uh, the s the snake snake talk in Harry Potter. Can't remember what it's called. You know what? Let's add a cool pattern. Why not? Why wouldn't you clip? I do not understand. You were fine clipping before. Why won't you clip here? You're going to have to freehand it. kind of cool. So why is it not want to want to do it now? Why? Why? Why do you want not wanna now? Nope. Now oh, there we go. Nope. Why? Why are you doing this? Place a next to get that snap. Oh, that is smart. That is very smart. Let's see if it works. Hmm. I think it's still snapping to the wrong, wrong roof piece. Uh, come on, can do it, can do it, snappy snap. Yeah, 
I think I'm just gonna be okay with the fact that it doesn't align pretty in a pretty way because it's just like yeah it's just gonna be a pain it does frustrate me though it's killing my OCD I'm like come on oh I got it I got it I got it yes just needed to get a weird angle cool okay so then need to close this off perfect it is busy try from under yep hi by the way is it busy welcome first time on on the stream oh, doesn't look too bad what I might do though is just put those ones like this Rather. Yeah. That looks better. Okay. That's not too bad. I'm happy with that. I think what I'm not happy with though is this beam here. Hi, hi. Welcome. Uh, cool, 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 cool. So, so yeah, so we've got this piece, this bit, which is, I guess, going to be bedroom or something. And then we have to bring all this wall back one or two meters. Then we've got our upstairs mezzanine thing here. Um, probably don't close that off. Okay. And then... And then what else? I need to add more windows. And then once this is brought back, then I'll do the chimney, but I'm not gonna have fun make it chimney now given that we need to change where things go what I could do though is just as a final little thing uh, stop placing that chimney that should go at the back so if we look at my references we have where do we have it uh, on this image there's the main chimney here and then there's another chimney in the back which is we can see also in the lego set so that chimney seems quite far to the end and uh, so i'm gonna try to place that i hate doing chimneys in this game it's a pain in the butt but we're gonna make do so i think the chimney should go somewhere like yeah. It's gonna be visible though. Let's see. Just wanna try see if I can see it from that angle. Yeah I can. Okay. A little bit. Not fully, but um and this chimney should be a fairly sm it's supposed to be a small one, but I might just stick with this size. And it looks like a bog standard square one. Doesn't need to be a real chimney though, right? Yeah, it doesn't. But it would be nice to have some fire going inside. Can I try to make it thinner? I could try to make it thinner. How would I do that? Oh no, it's gonna mess up my roof now. 
kind of want to play around with that. What I might do is just um, um, maybe use a different type of wood here for making it look like it's got a bit more shape at the top. Have a roof piece in and add the one to one wall ties. Yeah, do you reckon it's going to look better with one to one? Mm. Yeah, you're right, it's too big. It's too big and too tall. Uh, cool. Okay, in that case, what I might do. actually put it a bit further towards the edge here and doing one like this why is that not breaking yet And that will be a good opportunity to do my little overhang here. as well have overhangs everywhere although these beam things are gonna look weird sticking out that's really annoying don't you think those um those front pieces here are the these pieces the fact that the beams stick out of the roof it's so annoying because yeah you can't make something look good if it's literally sticking out like that just looks weird but yeah we'll just have to pass it off as a as a feature mm. so so you're suggesting I make it a fake, a fake chimney, and not have a fire there. I guess it looks kind of better. Uh, could go a bit higher. What could I place that would make it oh, have a bit of an overhang? Yeah, I could add certain trophies at the bottom for a fire effect, but I actually have a better idea. Oh, is it going to work? Yeah, it, it should work. Uh, anything square that I could use for the top? I don't know if I should go one high or not. That's going to be too tall. Oh, that's not bad. P 
plus for my idea, it would be better for it to be taller. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to place... roof back in there we go and I'm gonna put oh no that's gonna look way oh actually no that's gonna look way those and unfortunately there isn't even a tar version that's smaller never mind but what I wanted to do was have those either green or blue sure if green or blue would be better maybe blue a standing brazier on the roof tile for a smoke effect that is a good idea does the jacko turnip have a smoke effect no, it doesn't. Okay. Um, the problem with this is I'm not sure I can put this and then the torches, but I can try. Let's see. Let's see if I can put this one down here, like further enough down, and then the torches further up. Hopefully it's not going to block the smoke. So definitely want the torches for the blue effect. be working. Ooh, spooky. I think the torches might need to this one needs to go a bit further down. see if we close it up what happens with the smoke if it all goes nicely into the into the chimney uh, well the fire is still on so that is working it's kind of working although I think the problem with the having the brazier so low is that it's making smoke at the base of the chimney and it's not really sending the smoke up yeah the smoke is just kind of hanging there maybe i should put the brazier a bit closer to the top in that case see what happens yeah because um jeremiah was saying you need a total area of one meter cubed for smoke to vent properly so yeah the smoke is just hanging there instead of venting that's what is happening here let's try let's try let's see let's see if it will accept it here Okay, 
seems to be working. It's not going off. Good sign. Oh, lovely. That's working quite well, I think. Oh, the smoke is still hanging a bit instead of going up. Why is that? I think that might be because of the beams. If I remove the beam, is it helping? Interesting that this it doesn't put the fire out. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it was the beams. The beams were in the way. Oh, that's that's working pretty well. That's looking spooky. Yeah, that's working pretty well. I'm surprised that the brazier fire is not going off with all that smoke around and so on. It must work a little bit differently than normal fires. Um, I did want to add a bit of decoration on this at the top, but hey, I think that this works pretty well. Cool. I think I'm pretty happy with uh, with where it stands. I'm gonna have to carry on to not tomorrow because I'll be busy this weekend with my sister visiting. Um, but maybe Sunday evening I'll pick this up and carry on. Um, yeah. Let's see how we get on with this Hocus Pocus house. I've been having fun building this because it's been a while since uh, last time I, I was able to build in the game. So yeah, pretty happy to be doing this for a change. Oh, look, this is looking cool. Oh, look, it looks like the the um, branches or whatever, the root pieces are sticking out of the... Yeah, it's looking like it's sticking out of the cauldron, looking pretty cool. Looking nice and magical. And yeah, we'll have to add some torches inside as well next. In fact, I might add a few here just in front of the window. Uh, going back to my reference image. Oh, it's looking like normal red lights. Mm. What should I do? Should I go with normal red torches or different colors? Maybe I'll do red so that the inside looks a bit cozy. Or maybe add one torch here. Mm. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll add another torch kind of. around with my flooring to get different levels of torches. Add a cool effect. Candelabras. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I would love to have that. Like candles in the game. A bit like the one behind me. <laughs> it from outside too. Ah oh, yes. Nice, nice, nice. Actually. Okay. 
very good. And another one in front of this window. This underfloor, hidden underfloor, is uh, actually coming in pretty handy. I can do these fun effects. Oh yeah, now it's looking a bit more lively. Oh, I really like the effect on the chimney. Good idea, Dawn, to have the brazier in there. Look at that. Add a couple more candles. Um, at the top, I keep saying I, I should. I need to go to bed. I'm finishing now, but ah, it's so addictive. Decorating the inside is my is my favorite bit as well. So Probably going to kill the instances, but who cares? It's a solo world. Don't need that many over here. Back up over. Oh, I need one. I'll place in the corner. Okay, how is it looking now? Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Candles in front of the windows, perfect. Um, I do add another one. Or we'll place that one in front of the window. Nice, nice, nice. It's got more life. Those torches do look like uh, candles. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Starting to look a bit more like uh, like the picture. Yep, getting there, getting there. Cool. All right, I'm pretty happy with uh, where it is now. I'll uh, work with um, mods to try to bring this whole front wall two meters in, because I think that will look better and more proportionate and um, and then we'll do the chimney and the fire and the wheel and the interior but yeah that will be for next time I guess cool 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 
I hope uh, you, if you're still watching, I hope you enjoyed uh, my shenanigans. I, I don't build very often, so it was a fun, fun exercise trying to understand how to use the mods as well, some of the mods. And um, yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun. And yeah, I'll try to do a couple more of these uh, Halloween themed builds and uh, well, not not builds, but more streams. Um, I should be able to stream the next uh, building competi competition that we have on our server, which is next Wednesday, which is a graveyard build competition. So um, yeah, looking forward to that. That should be good. That should be fun. And uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching. See you next time. Bye.